Welcome to the Weber Dojo. Today we will work on Ippon Kumite, one attack sparring. This will be focused towards our green and purple belts, which is our intermediate level. If you've not warmed up yet, make sure you pause this video and warm up now. I will focus on the offensive techniques of Ippon Kumite. Then I'll take over and focus on the defensive portion of one step sparring. Then we will work side by side so you can see the different angles a little better. And then we'll do a virtual one step sparring with you. Okay, I'm going to practice the attacks for Ippon Kumite. So we're gonna work on the four basic attacks for this level, which will be Oizuki Jodan, which is step and punch face, Oizuki Chudan, which is step and punch stomach, my Gary Chudan, which is back leg front kick Chudan or stomach level, and then back leg Yoko Gary Kakomi Chudan, which is back leg side thrust kick for stomach level as well. So we will work both sides of the technique, both your attacking with your right and with your left. So the things that you should focus on for one step sparring is the biggest part is you get one chance. You have one attack, one chance. So you want to make sure that everything you've developed up till now works for you to be able to attack and score with one chance, one attack. The other thing is going to be difficult for us to work on today, which is distance, making sure that you're getting close enough to your attacker when you, uh, or to the defender when you launch your attack. So from here, I want you to step back with your right side. So you're going to get your distance. And for our level, I'm putting my hand up but you really don't have to do that if you feel like you already know your distance. I want you to start developing that so that you can look at them face to face and tell if you're in the right position. So you're gonna step back with your right side, down block. And now it's Oizuki Jodan. Start from a stationary position, announce your attack. After you announce your attack, you do not have to wait for the defender to respond. You're allowed to, you're now to announce your attack and then go. Make sure that you don't say Oizuki Jodan and then attack right away. Make sure you're in a stable, fundamental, still stationary position, announce your attack, then you can go when you're prepared. So let's practice Oizuki Jodan. Okay, then step straight back. When you're stepping forward, make sure that all the things that you learn about stepping in a front stance, you apply here. So you want to grip the floor with your front foot and as soon as your body, your stepping foot passes your support leg, you want to step and push your leg forward or straighten your back leg. So this back leg, the job that it does, let me go to the side here, is it's bent here. Its job is to push you, push your body forward. All right, so let's try again. Each. Reset, step back into a down block again. Knee, back, one more time. Sun, up, and back. Okay, let's switch our sides. Ready? Down block, step forward, Oizuki Jodan. So make sure that you're using the inward tension of your legs to squeeze and then push with your support leg. Ready? Each, back, knee, back, one more time, sun, up, and sorry, step back, and then stand back up. So it'll be this very similar for Oizuki Chudan. Since these are similar, I'll turn to the side. All right, so you're going to get your distance, step back with your right side, down block, up, Oizuki Chudan. All right, let's practice three times. So again, working on everything you can to make one explosive motion. Each. Reset. Knee. Reset. One last time. Sun. Up. And reset. Now you're going to switch your side. Step back with your left side. Down one. Up. Practice three times again. Each. Reset. Knee. Reset. Go. Up. Reset. All right, stand up. 
All right, so the next one is my Gary. So we're gonna practice focusing on its chewed on level, but we wanna make sure that our kick is about belt knot level, right? So from here, step back with your right leg. You can do double down block. Ready? Come back. Up. This is my Gary chewed on. So you bring your back leg up, make sure to lift your knee up, make sure that you're pointing the ball of your foot to the target. So from here, you want to make sure that you're kicking on target and landing in a correct front stance. When you make the kick, you don't want, you're allowed to use your hip to make a little bit of the extension of the technique, but you shouldn't come up in your stance this way and then back down. You want this support leg to stay bent. Let's practice a few times. Each. Reset. Knee. Reset. Sun. Up. Reset. All right, switch your legs. So for here, you can start, you start in double down block. You can have your hands here or here, whichever feels more comfortable to you. I like this a little bit better. It prepares me more for semi-free and for free sparring. All right, ready? Same thing with your left side. Ready? My Gary chewed on. Each. Reset. Knee. Back. Make sure you stay down on this leg. One more time. Sunk. Up. And reset. All right, stand up. All right, the last attack we're going to work on is Yoko Gary Kokomi. So you start from a front stance again. And the most important part, of course, uh, besides doing a correct kick, is after you make your kakomi, I want you to fight and struggle to get back to a front stance. If you stay in a kibidach, usually your attacker's here, they're facing, their back is, or your back is to them, meaning if you're looking this way, you can't see what they're doing. You're very vulnerable from this position. So make sure after you throw your side thrust kick, fight for your front stance. Now remember, the person blocking it, um, today you're not gonna have any resistance, but when you're with a partner, they're gonna be pushing you to this direction. So when you're in this kick here, stay down on this leg so you can drive. So drive your back leg and move your hip, have it, have it pushed, just like your step and punch. Use this back hip, push your body forward, to allow you to your best chance to get in back into a front stance. All right, so let's try a couple. Ah, let's start from here. Step back with your right side, double down block. Come on. All right, so lift up your right knee. Now it's Yoko Gary Kakomi. All right, ready? Let's practice three times. Each. Reset. Knee. Reset. One last time. Yeah. Up. And stand up. Let's switch our sides. I'll switch the angle. Ready? Each. Reset. Knee. Reset. One last time. Yeah. Up. And yame. All right, Val. So make sure that when you attack, you're attacking strongly. You only have one chance at each attack. All right. So now we're going to focus on the defensive portion of one step sparring. With that, this is where we start moving laterally, side to side, and we want to focus on reducing the reaction time between our blocks and our counterattacks. And again, making sure that everything is right on target and having good distance. So we also get to have different counterattack techniques. With that said, we have to make sure that we have at least two different ones. Typically, we've got the punches, the kicks. Uh, a lot of people like the, the high toes and the shoe toes. But when you're doing 
the Haito and Shuto, make sure, again, your distance is proper. Oftentimes, I have students that seem to hit with the fingers uh, against the neck and your distance is off. You wanna make sure that your target for the striking surface is somewhere the meaty portion of the hand down to the wrist and the same area on the back side of the hand. So as I've mentioned in class before, unless you've got razor sharp fingernails and you're going to slice that jugular, it's not going to work. You got to get the meat behind your, your, uh, your attack. So as the attack is coming forward again, we're going to think down and out, okay, in either direction. So if the attack is coming, I'm going to move to either an angle or straight off to the side, throw the attack, and then throw my counter. Same thing when they're coming at shoot on level. I want to make sure that I'm shifting off to the side, throw a good strong block, and then making sure that I've got the appropriate distance depending on what type of counterattack I'm going to throw. As they're throwing the Maigari, the front kick, again, shifting off to the side, and depending on what my technique is gonna be, again, angling, uh, making sure that I've got proper distance. So shifting off to the side, then throwing my counterattack. For Keikomi, you gotta make sure that you're hitting the proper uh, uh, technique with, uh, with your defensive stance. So as the kick is coming forward, I'm gonna make an outward to inward blocking technique and then shifting for my counter attack, okay? So coming from the back side, so you can see the angle. And then for shoot on, for my Gary, I also throw a down block. And then for Kay Comey, So that's the one step sparring defensive portion. So now we're gonna work one step sparring side by side. So I will walk everybody through the count. I would like for the people watching to follow the defensive portion of this part of the drill. Oizuki Jodan. Oizuki Chudan. Go! Set! Mayuri Chudan. Go! Set! Yoko Gary Takome. Go! Set! Set! Okay, so now we will switch uh, the direction that we're facing so that you can again work on defense. Make sure that you follow Sensei Weber. Oizuki Jodan. Go! Hey! Oizuki Chidan. Go! Hey! Mayuri Chidan. Yokogari Kakomi, Chidan! Go! Hey! Hey! Okay, so now we're going to work with as partners virtually. So the other Sensei Weber is going to coach us through Ipon Kumite. I will be your partner. All right, Sensei Kim, you will be attacking first. Right. All right. 
Get your distance. Step away. Hi. Hi. Announce. Jodan. Jodan. Hi. Defensive side. Acknowledge and be ready. Ready? Nope. Hi. Hi. Announcing. Chudan. Oizuki Chudan. Ready? Announcing my Gary. My Gary, two down. Ready? Go. Hey. I announcing K Komi. K Komi, two down. Ready? Go. Hey. Dumbass. I other side, you will be attacking now. All right. Move forward. Get your distance. Step back with your right leg. Hey! All right, announce Jodan. Ready? Go! Hey! All right. All right, ready? Announce Chudan. Ready? Go! Hey! All right. All right. Announce my gear. Thank you for joining us for our Ipon Kumite class today. Make sure that you understand that Ipon Kumite is still a basic level of sparring. So you want to be sure to work on your fundamental stance, fundamental blocks, fundamental attacks. When you review this video again, make sure that when you're doing the defensive side, primarily, that you hit the stances. It's easier, I think, to hit the correct stances when you're doing offense, but defense, when you're doing a lot of moving to the angles, it's a little more difficult to maintain a good fundamental stance. So that's very important. So keep training at home, and we hope to see you back in the dojo soon.